Hi there. Um, this is video uh, covering the replacement of the torsion spring assembly on my mini mill, uh, the Sieg SX2P. Um, so I'm going to be replacing the assembly, the torsion spring, with this gas strut. And uh, this this gas strut I got from um, SGS Engineering uh, in the UK. And the model is GS6-15-220-260. And um, there are two other items that you need apart from the gas strut. Um, one of which is a piece of mild steel bar or aluminium. And um, that's used to create the bracket which will hold uh, the top piece of the gas strut. And the bracket will fit on here. Now my bracket's based upon a design that I saw on YouTube on a channel uh, called Sinkhole 40. Um, but I'll, I'll go into that in a bit more detail later on. And the other item you need is an M10 bolt. Um, and the thread on that is 25mm, which I think should be sufficient. So, let's see how we get on. So the first thing to do is to uh, move this up and lock that in place to stop the head from falling. Also lock the head. Now we need to uh, unbolt this. So to be honest there's not a lot of pressure on this. So you can hold it back with your finger. So once you've loosened it, um, it's fairly easy to undo. So that's released and you can see it's not very strong at all, in fact you can even move it right down here by hand. And next is to remove this. So this is where the bracket will be attached. So um, now we need to remove this. Now I think um, this is done by just uh, unlocking or unbolting something on the other side. Um, so, I'll just move the mill round so you can see what I'm doing. So I think this here holds the assembly in place. So I'm just going to un undo this. And I think that should just push out. Well that's come off. But it's uh, still left something here so we need to have a look at that. So I'll move the mill round again. So there are three screws holding this in place so we'll just un unscrew these. And we also need to take this height gauge off.
And I also need to take this pointer off here. So this is used to adjust the end flow on the spindle gear where the um, three spoke handle is. So what I'll do is um, just, tighten it, just tighten it up a little bit and I'll just back it off probably about a quarter of a turn if that. And I'll just check the movement so there's a little bit of sideward movement on the three spoke gear or the three spoke handle which I think we'll be okay with that. If it's a problem we can revisit. So this is the M10 bolt and uh, I've put a washer on it. We need to make sure that the recess is this way around to cover the small uh, nut which it does. Clears that nicely and hopefully we're all lined up and that will fit and it does that feels good just lock that in place spot on so what I've also done is to uh, drill and tap an M6 thread at the bottom of the uh, mill. Just there. And that's where the bottom of the gas strut will be fitted. So I've fitted the bottom of the strut and I've decided just to take this stop off here. Just so I can move the head higher than normal and that, and that will enable me to um, screw it into one of these holes a lot easier. Put this stop back. So this is in its fully lowered position, uh, which I'm quite happy with. Um, I doubt I would want to go further down than that. Um, the head without a collet or anything on is just nearly touching the vise and if I move the adjustment up that's really nice feel to it and it goes right up to the stop so I'm really happy with that super result well I must say I'm absolutely um, over the moon with that, um, I'm really happy with the results. Um, I think most of the work went into uh, accurately drilling um, the bracket. Um, the actual fitting was very straightforward and uh, having removed the torsion spring assembly that opens up an opportunity now to look at installing a DRO on the Z-axis. Uh, axis which uh, is the next thing I will be uh, looking to do so anyway I hope you found the uh, video interesting um, if you like my videos please subscribe and thanks for watching <laughs>